Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. Still sick with a very bad cold, but I want to knock out a video for you guys. I'm going with an easy quilt block so I can just sit at my computer and play on the digital quilt board. I think I will like doing that. I, at the moment, have just an idea. I don't know exactly how this is going to end up, but I want to do very simple. We are going to need, I think, three fabrics. I, that might change as we go. I'm thinking of a strip for one, so I just pulled something that's already a strip, so I don't have to like cut more strips, and then two others. And you can see I'm actually like in the same like kind of colors here, all kind of pinkish. I don't usually do that. I looked for something more bold, but I just don't feel like doing too much looking around. So we're going with this. I'm going to cut two squares and a strip, and I'm going to decide, and I will be right back as soon as I figure out what size I want. Here is what I decided on. Two seven-inch squares, any two colors you like, and two strips that are two and a quarter inches wide. You can make your squares any size you want, just make them matching. And your strips, if you wanted to use some jelly roll strips that you might have that are two and a half inches wide, go ahead and use that. You can have your strips as wide as you want. I went with two and a quarter, and I made them like eight inches long just because I like my strips that I'm going to be adding to be a little bit wider than the actual square, just to give me some wiggle room. So we're going to put these strips aside for right now. We're putting the two squares right sides together and we are doing our trick of drawing a line and then sewing on each side of the line. You can draw using pen, doesn't matter. The line is not going to be visible. Mine isn't visible at all because the pen didn't work. Hang on. Got it now, I think. Okay, we're just going to sew on each side of that line. This might actually be a good block if you have 10 inch layer cake pieces and a jelly roll. I tried to keep mine smaller just for the sake of taking pictures of the blocks for the quilt show at the end of the video. So that's what we have. You can see I sewed on each side of that line. Maybe you can't see this thread on each side. And now we're going to just cut on the line that we drew. And I'm just going to go ahead and scissor cut. And I'm going to press these babies open. So that part is super easy. We have our two half square triangles, but now I want to try to do something with those. I would like to do a disappearing or a swap or both. And I really can't decide yet exactly what I want to do. But I think I'm going to need four strips. And instead of cutting two more strips like this, I'm just going to cut these in half lengthwise. A little bit more narrow than I wanted, but like I said, I haven't been really planning. And I kind of wish these were a different color that would really pop. Do I want to change my mind? Like, even black would be cool. I think I want to change my mind. Hang on. I think I'm going to be much happier with this. I happen to have a piece of black and it allowed me to cut my strips one and three quarters inches wide. I want four strips. So you can have four strips any width you want. And mine are long, but that's okay. I'll just trim them after the fact. So let's put the strips aside. We're going to be cutting these so that we can swap and or just make them disappear. You can see I have them in the same direction with my darker fabric pointing to the top right. And I'm just going to take this one and flip it over onto this one. So I'm going to cut, let me cut, um, I'm going to go in one and a half inches right there. And I'm going to cut through those two. Now let's open these back up the way they would have been. Can you even see what I'm doing? Let me back up a little bit. So we have this and we have this. We could decide just to make it disappear and flip. Or we can swap, we can swap and flip, ooh, that's kind of cool. We could swap one, not the other. I like the swap and flip, so let me show you again. This is what we had, 
We're going to swap them. We're going to flip them. And we're going to add a piece of black between each one of them. And just sew that in. See what I mean, Jelly Bean? So I'm just going to sew this there and this there. Then I will trim them up. So let me do that to both blocks. I'll be right back. So this is what we have now. But because we made our block grow this way, because we added a strip, I'm going to make some more cuts and we're going to make it grow this way. We'll be adding some more black stripes. So I'm going to think for a second, and that means five minutes minimum. <laughs> okay, I think I have a plan. <laughs> I'm always so unsure of what I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. And you can do anything that you want, but I'm trying to find a way to explain it to you so it doesn't seem as hard as I'm making it seem. So this is the way we had it. My two stripes are like toward the center. I am going to take this side and flip it upside down and put it on top. Okay? Now, we're going to cut this off. So I'm just going to turn it for the sake of cutting. So I'm turning the top as I was looking at it. I'm going to put it down. And I'm going to cut that one and a half inches in. Is that what I did before? I think it was. Let's do that again. One and a half inches. All right. Now let's put it back the way it was. This way. This and this. But this one was turned, so let's go back and turn it. So this is what we had. And let's do another trade. So let's swap this guy for this guy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. And I'm not going to do this because we just end up putting the black back together. So we're just going to go like that. So now we're going to put our black stripes between. How come I only have one of these? Uh, there's the other one. So this could go this way if we wanted to. It could, couldn't it? Maybe that would be more interesting. It would make like a little black box in the middle maybe let's see let's put this hmm, like that okay so we have this choice or we can do this I'm going with this so I'm going to sew this here and this to this you know you know the drill and this is what we have now I don't know. In my head, I was going for trying to make the two blocks look quite different from each other, but I ended up making them look like quite the same, except for the color patterns. But that's what I'm going with. So I'm going to be making some designs on the quilt board using mostly both of these together, but I might, you know, make some blocks in there with just this, some with just this. And we'll just see how it turns out. Now, I am quite exhausted, just even from being under the lights of my sewing machine. It wipes me out. So thank you so much for watching. I will be back with more soon. Bye.